Well, when the smoke clears, Logan is gonna be will be victorious. After watching KSI's workout the other day, I was like, I couldn't even believe it. He took a whole year just not to learn anything. I mean, if you're going to take a whole year to do something, learn something, learn how to throw a punch, learn how to move your feet. We were just, I was appalled and I was like astounded that the guy couldn't almost put his feet together to jump rope. So I was there for the first fight. We didn't, like I said, he doesn't know how to fight. He got heart, he got balls, he got determination. But when it comes to skill wise, he doesn't have that part. Logan took a whole year to definitely keep me around, to keep him skillful, to keep the jab pumping, to keep everything working as a unit. And then they bring in Shannon Briggs two weeks, I mean, uh, two months, you know, prior for his tenacity of drive, go get, force. I mean, like he could, he could make you move the goddamn mountain. If you, if you didn't, if you can't get up, he'll make you get up. If you, you can't run, he'll make you run. He'll find a way to bring the best out of you. And that, that was, that's what Shannon brings and with his years of experience in boxing. You know, like I said, I took Logan the first half. You know, now Shannon Briggs came in to bring him the second half. And hopefully this half will be victorious this night. I mean, we're not, we're not saying we're going to give him a knockout, but this is not going to be an easy fight for KSI. This is going to be hell on high water. You know. A lot of people want to see a knockout. Is it okay if a knockout doesn't happen? Okay, there might be some static here in a minute because KSI is walking right past Logan, I mean, uh, uh, Shannon Briggs. <laughs> well, you heard it first right here, live before, fight, before the fight. Shannon Briggs still had it. KSI is on the run. We're going to have some fun Saturday night. It's going to be balls to the wall excitement. What do you think that does to somebody's head? That oh, it psychologically messes up. But listen, I trained Shannon Briggs to two world titles. When we fought Sergey Lagovich for the world title, we was just minding our business. All of a sudden, Shannon comes out of nowhere talking about, you call me this, you call me that to Sergey Lagovich. And Sergey Lagovich. I never said that. I never said that. So psychologically, he was already screwed before he even got in the ring. So Shannon has that intimidating factor to make people want to just say, you know what, I don't even want to be here. And these guys really don't want to be there that night because they're going to be having too much in their mind thinking about what could happen, what could happen. Let me just get in this ring, get out this ring, and I don't care what happens. So hopefully we're definitely going to be the one that's going to happen that night. Logan Paul all the way Saturday night. Let's have some fun. Thank you very much. Do you think uh, Logan has a future after this fight? Or did well, he just quit, quit while he's ahead? The best idea was take everything in stride. Take one step at a time. Remember, he did this out of a, out of a dare. Oh, you don't want to fight me? I'll fight you. And then all of a sudden, he didn't have to fight him. He could have just said, you know, screw you, and we're not about his business. But Logan's a guy that don't back down from anything, which living with him for like two years, I know him. He doesn't back down. He's persevered. He, he'll, He'll get through it. So it all depends on what he wants to do after this. Let him take the first one out the way. Let him get hit a little bit. Go back and say, whoa, is this what I really want to do? Yes or no? And that will tell the difference. And it's all up to him. You know, we can't tell him what to do, but he's going to know what to do after. All right, so last question. Sorry. Okay. Uh, you, said you, could, <laughs> you said you threw out traditional boxing out of the way when you did the documentary. Can you tell us more about that, like why you did that? Because I break all the rules. My thing is we fight with our hands down, we move our head. I mean, I'm, a, I'm the best defensive person you want to bring into your camp when it comes to slipping, blocking, using your mind to mess up the other guy's mind. So my thing is slip, slip, pull back, catch, catch, knock punches down. I can stay in the pocket and make you miss my head. And then I can retaliate with counter punches. So I never did with just traditional boxing because all my guys from New York City Golden Gloves, to my professional fighter, especially this new guy I got coming up, Nicholas Arizari. He's 1-0, second round knockout. We're gonna take boxing by storm with this kid. So it's just, I just don't believe in the rules. I've been breaking them all ever since I started with the boxing game. So that's me, Supreme Team Boxing. You can could, you could go back, check out my name, find some videotapes, and you'll see everybody fight with their hands down as an amateur. I even got little kids fighting with their hands down, but they're beating the hell out of everybody. That's just me. People could do what they could do, I do what I do, and I do it the best.